part two. Javier and Maya, part two, the execution. I see them, shouted LJ in coded language to El Ray. You do? Where? Oh, I see them myself now, replied El Ray using the same code. The birds had to use a coded language because La Rata de la Altura had birds on his payroll too. And it was very important that La Rata de Altura did not find out the animal rescuers' plans. The two storks circled high up in the air but kept James and Ringo in sight. Hey! Elway, look! Two big rats with needles approaching James and Gringo, LJ shouted. Interesting development, LJ. Better report this to headquarters. You continue following them and I'll be back shortly. Elway flew on ahead. LJ continued to follow them until they left the human city and entered the jungle. There, two parrots took over following James, Gringo, and the two rats into the jungle. It would have caused undue attention and could have blown their cover if a stork was seen following them in the jungle. At La Rata de la Tura City, James and Gringo were ushered into a large box. The parrots flew to the top of the box and listened through its holes at the conversation below. Listening for a while, Hector squawked in a whisper to his brother Jorge, It is time! You go get the others! Hurry! I'll stay here just in case they move them again. Back at headquarters, a large crowd of animals, including jaguars, snakes, deer, tapirs, and many other kinds of animals were listening intently as an animated Toby described the rescue of Polly back in Heart City, Nebraska. He stated, Outside the shed, there was a great horned owl perched on the shed's roof. Slowly it flew up into the air, higher and higher. Inside the shed, Polly was slowly lifted off the ground, up into the sky, and over the brick wall. He was gently lowered to the ground where the trio of black squirrels, Kasha, a couple of foxes, a few bucks, George, Keisha, General, and many animal rescuers were all waiting. Everyone was happy Polly was saved. Birds were dispatched right away with the news of Polly's rescue. The story, that's the story as I was told. Everyone shouted with joy. That part of the plan had been carried out successfully. Just then, Jorge came flying into headquarters. He was excited and shouted over and over, it is time, it is time. Hector says it is time. I hope the puppy has been rescued. Yes, he has, Jorge. And we are ready, Javier said. Everyone, let's go to the rescue. To be continued.